If you're doing drop off or corporate catering, please listen up because I have a story that could save you a million bucks one day. Now, before I get into that, my name is Andrew. I'm the founder of Honeycart, which is an online ordering system for drop off catering that was built for busy caterers who don't want to go back and forth on email and phone calls for every order that they get. Now, if that's something that you'd be interested in, you can get a 14 day free trial if you go to gethoneycart.com. So back to the story, I live in the DC area, which is a huge catering market. And I know of a caterer that does all of their order processing through email, meaning an Outlook inbox. So anytime somebody places an order, if they need to make a change or if they need to cancel, they have to email it in. And this caterer had about five staff people that were constantly checking the inbox to make sure when orders came in or changes needed to be made. And you can imagine that things eventually dropped through the cracks because when uh, shifts changed, the new person needed to know which orders were already taken care of, which ones weren't, so that they knew what to work on. And if you have dozens of order conversations going on in your inbox, you can imagine how overwhelming that can get for anybody, no matter how good your process is. So one day, a particular client, right, which represented about a million dollars in revenue as far as both the drop off and the event side of the business goes, they just started to notice too many mistakes, meaning that when they would look at their bill, they would see that, hey, things, we never got this, uh, this item that we ordered, or hey, we didn't order this item, and stuff like that. And so, it just in the hectic everyday life of, of, of their business, the caterer had no way to prove what was really sent and what wasn't. So they would end up just comping that item uh, just to, to keep that customer happy. But over the years, over time, mistakes just kept on building up and that client was fed up and they went with a cheaper competitor. And uh, regardless, you can imagine that that caterer was extremely devastated because it represented a million dollars a year to them. Now, what does this have to do with Honeycart? So the main, one of the main reasons why we made Honeycart was to move all that manual, error-prone work out of a human's hands, like every, out of your hands and out of your staff's hands, and push that onto the customer so that it's more of a self-service model. So that anytime the customer needed to place an order, if they needed to make any change to that order or needed to cancel that order, there's always an electronic paper trail of who did what. Like if you have five different staff members that are all touching that order, anytime they make a change, you can actually go back in Honeycart and see who made what changes. And if that was in place for this particular caterer, I have no doubt in my mind that there wouldn't have been so many things falling through the cracks or so many mistakes and definitely the, the client any claims that they made about mistakes could have actually been verified. And um, I guess the big moral of the story is if they had some sort of self-service automated process in place, then they wouldn't have lost out on this client. So hopefully this helps anybody out there know that it's possible to not have to do everything manually, that you don't have to be checking email 24 seven and that there's just a better way to let the customers have a more convenient way to just serve themselves and reduce the mistakes and make everybody happy in the end. And um, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Other than that, if you're interested in more information about how you can do online ordering for drop-off catering, or if you want to start a 14-day free trial, go to gethoneycart.com. Thanks.